Okay, let's have a little look around KWX635, which uh, I think from memory is a either 1951 or 1952 uh, Series 1 80 inch, but this one has been fitted with uh, Rover V8 power. Uh, enormous fun, but if you're after originality, then look away now. Um, rebuilt in 2010 with great attention to detail around a replacement chassis, um, but you know, wears its panel work um, as a Nova sort of 60 year old car should, if you like. Um, brand new Exmoor trim hood um, in tan. We have got the side screens there in the back there, and they're all intact. Um, it's shod with a decent set of match a matching set of five 205 ATR16 tyres, uh, probably on Series 2 rims in fairness. Um, haven't looked that closely. Spec wise, so it's got Rover V8 in it with a uh, Kenlo fan. It's also got uh, dual circuit brakes with a separate circuit for the, uh, for the clutch, unlike most Series 1s. Um, new uh, Exmoor trim seats in green. Uh, what else do we have? It's got overdrive, it's got three wheel front hubs, Kenlo fan, um, walking round it, what else do we have? Centre cubby box, we talked about the overdrive, it's got rear mud flaps on it, it's got tow pack, that's about your lot. Um, right, let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits, very few in the way of bad bits. As you can see, this uh, offside front wing is probably original, so it's a little bit uh, crinkled here and there. And the paint job, um, certainly on the wing tops here, has been done uh, with a brush. Whether the whole thing has been done by a brush, I don't think so. I think some of it's been uh, properly painted, but uh, it all it all goes with the uh, the character of the vehicle. Um, spare wheel mounted on the bonnet. Bulkhead looks to have been refabricated certainly inside for, especially for the V8 which I'll show you in a minute but all around here and down the A post it all looks good. Um, doors I would think are new. I think there's a bill for those in the uh, in the history. Um, yeah the as I say the bulkhead's been refabricated all around here. Quite a nice job though in checker plate. Uh, checker plate seat box tops. Um, it's all correct in the back there. Um, one point, um, the gauges and the lights and wipers haven't been wired up. Um, it's still usable as it is. Uh, up until 2012 it was running with an MOT for, for daylight use only. Um, speedo needle's broken off, uh, so the speedo isn't working. Um, neither is the odometer we don't think, but uh, the Kenlo fan's been wired in and I think the horn as well from memory. But um, um, the rest of the electrics haven't been wired in as yet. We can do it for if you want it, but that'll be at extra cost. Um, but as I say, it's perfectly usable as is in daylight hours. Um, <coughs> so, looking under there, she all looks really, really nice. Um, around the tail ends, a bit of checker plate on the rear quarters, which I'm not a fan of, but uh, anyhow. Cross member looks good. I say the hood is new. Um, down the offside again, it's a Series 180 inch. It's uh, it's over 60 years old. It is what it is. It's really only that right front wing that's a little bit uh, crinkled here and there, as uh, as you'd expect. Where's its battle scars? A bit of a scratch along there. Gouge in the in the in the wing. But in here, I say it's um, it's all. Exactly as you'd expect. Absolute joy to drive. Um, enormous fun. Sounds brilliant. Anyway, that's about it. My name is Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further information. We take part exchanges, we take Visa and MasterCard credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards and we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere you like in the world, obviously at a cost. That's about it. End.